Hi, today we are going to find out like, how to make Google Home work in Malaysia. So this is the latest piece of Google Home and for now we are going to unbox it. So there's a tiny sticker over here, just pull it out so you don't need a knife to cut it off. Another one here. I'll just put it out. Ooh, all right. And that's it. So this box is out. And there's a magnetic kind of things that you can put it on your Google Home. So how big is this um, things? This is just like. Let's see what do I have here. Uh, pagoda. Smaller than that. Just a tiny size. So um, there is um, two mic on top of here. And you can open it up the bottom cover. And uh, this is interchangeable. You can change to other colors. And there are one, two, three speakers over here. And there are also um, a micro USB port over here. I think this is most probably for the software upgrade or debugging stuff. All right, let's fix this. Okay, it's quite light, not that very heavy. Um, then what is in the box? So this is the manual like how to say OK Google and play with issue some commands. Plug the power cable into Google Home and then download the Google Home apps. So let's plug in the power. Ah, um, they also come with the strap for the better cable management so you can tie and untie it so um, uh oh I think this adapter cannot um, I need adapter to put that on at least all right I have this universal adapter that and plug in the power over here and guess I guess uh, that's about it right it's turning on and you have um, the lights over here loading and uh, this part on top of here is a touch screen that you can actually touch and turn on and turn down the volume um, we tested in a while, so I think now it's booting. Welcome to Google Home. To get started, download the Google Home app on a phone or tablet. Oh, it's quite loud. And there's a button over here is the mute for the mic. So if you press this button, you mute the mic. So that means you should come command like. Okay, Google, I think that you will not Google take Home the isn't set up yet. To get Home started, app. download the Google Home app on a phone or tablet. Okay. Let's see. Let's download the apps for Google Home to get started. Alright, done. So let's run through the step-by-step -step setup of um, Google Home apps. Turn on locations, permission for setup. All right. Allow locations, looking for device, looking for device, looking for device. Google Home found, that's great. That is easy to set up. So um, right now, the Google Home is the Wi-Fi hotspot, so I think is connecting to the Google Hotspot. Next, your Google Home will play the test sound. Did you hear the sound? I heard it. Proceed. 
So what room is your Google Home in? Um, backyard? Alright. Connect Google Home to your Wi-Fi. Get Wi-Fi password from this mobile phone. So you can actually retrieve the Wi-Fi password from your mobile phone. And next. Setting up your Google Home. Seems like it takes some time to run. So just leave it here. So meet your Google Assistant. So I think basically it's connected to the Wi-Fi. So it's fetching the Google update. Get personal result. Okay. Set the Google Home locations. I think we skip this. I'm sure we're going to skip this. So I'm going to get email notification. So link your music services. So um, I think the best that we can use in Malaysia right now, I think is um, Spotify. Link Spotify. So I think it's currently taking the new firmware or software or something like that for the Google Home. So we just wait for a while. So finally, update complete. Let's get you using your Google Home. Hi, I'm your Google Assistant. I'm here to help. To learn a few things you can do, continue in the Google Home app. Alright, continue. Okay, Google. How far away is the moon? The moon is 238,900 miles from Earth. Alright. Okay, Google. Tell me about my day. Good morning, Paul. The time is 2.35 a.m. Okay, Google, the stop. Weather. I think the time is not right right now because it, right now it's 10.35. Only because I haven't set my exact location right now, but I think Google should be able to know that where is the location right now. Then maybe just try other stuff. Okay, Google, play some music. Playing some music on YouTube. Okay, Google, turn it down. So you can actually like lower down the volume. So um, maybe you just turn up. Okay, Google, turn it up. Cool. So Cantonese song. Lang. So you can actually up, down. Then you can set. Okay, Google, set the volume to five. So you can set the volume to five. Okay, Google, stop. I will just stop this for now. Okay, Google. How far does it take me to IKEA Daman Sara? I don't support navigation yet. IKEA Daman Sara is 21 minutes from your location by car and moderate traffic. Okay, Google. How's the traffic to IKEA Terrace? On your way to Ikea Cheras, there's the usual traffic. The route via Route 1 is the fastest. It is 11 minutes by car. Not bad. You can understand. Okay, Google. What time does one Utama open? One Utama shopping center is open right now and closes at 10 p.m. Okay, Google. How far is it from here to KLCC? 
If you drive, Surrey KLCC is 2.2 kilometers away. Okay, Google. Can I get there by train? I found a few places. The first one is Kuala Lumpur in Kuala Lumpur. The second one is KL Central Station in Kuala Lumpur. The third one is Monorail Station Shao Kid at Jalan Ipo in Kuala Lumpur. Okay, Google. Who is the top badminton player in Malaysia? Professional athletes frequently mentioned on the web include Li Chong Wei, Tan Wei Kiang, Jan Pang Soon, and others. Okay, Google. Who is Li Chong Wei? According to Wikipedia, Beto Li Chong Wei DSPN DVD CSM is a Malaysian professional badminton player. Okay, Google. How old is him? 34 years old. Okay, Google. Where was he born? Big in Sarai, Malaysia on October 21st, 1982. Okay, Google. What is 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 times 5? The answer is 9. Okay, Google. I'm bored. Boredom doesn't stand a chance against us. We can play a trivia game, I can find you a fun fact, or you can spin the wheel. What's your pick? Spin the wheel. I'll spin the wheel. The wheel wants me to be box for you. What's that? Okay, Google. I'm bored. Bored? Not while I'm around. You can listen to the news, I can tell you a joke, or you can spin the wheel. Just let me know. Tell me a joke. One joke. Coming up, how did the frog burn its tongue? It tried to eat a firefly. <sighs> okay, Google. How old are you? I was launched in 2016, so I'm still fairly young. Okay, Google, how to say good morning in Korean? Okay, Google, how to say thank you in Mandarin? Okay, Google, what does 谢谢 mean in Mandarin? My apologies, I don't understand. Okay, Google. How to say thank you in Thai? Okay, Google. How to say hello in Japanese? Cool. So what else can we play with? Okay, Google. What's the weather today? It'll be partly cloudy today in Federal Territory of Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia with a forecasted high of 32 and a low of 23 degrees Celsius. It's 29 and mostly cloudy. So I think that there's something that's very useful for this holiday season because that a lot of people will be traveling on the highway. So maybe we just ask Google like how far, I mean like how is the traffic from here to the destination you want to go, okay? Okay Google. How is the traffic to Cameron Highlands? On your way to Cameron Highlands, traffic is light as usual. It is 3 hours and 1 minute by car. Okay, makes sense. Okay, Google. How is the traffic to Penang? On your way to Penang, traffic is light as usual. The route via La Baraya, Utara, Selatan, E1 is still the fastest. It is 3 hours and 47 minutes by car. Okay, Google, can you sing Happy Birthday? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to the most amazing person in the universe. Happy birthday to you. Thank you. Okay, Google. What is 10 megabytes in megabits? 
10 megabytes equals 80 megabits. So nowadays, the ringgit is very weak against the US dollar. So let's find out what is the rate today. Okay, Google. What is the exchange rate of one US dollar to ringgit? One United States dollar is approximately four Malaysian ringgit and forty six cents. Four ringgit and forty six cents. Wow. Okay, Google. What is the current exchange rate of one Singapore dollar to ringgit? One Singapore dollar is approximately three Malaysian ringgit and eleven cents. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, okay, what else can we ask? Um, let's ask Manchester United next game. Okay, Google. When is Manchester United next game? Manchester United will be playing West Bromwich Albion on Sunday at 1.30 a.m. Okay, Google. How was the last result? Manchester United won 2 to 1 today against Crystal Palace. Okay, Google. What is the current ranking? Manchester United is 6th in the Premier League with a total of 27 points. Okay, Google. Who scored the last goal? My apologies. I don't understand. So, Google is quite smart. Um, you don't actually need to ask the team name again so you can just like follow through the questions from your last question. Okay, I think we can try out the local businesses around here. So let's start with... Uh, uh, uh. Okay, Google. Okay, Google. Where is the nearest Domino Pizza? I found a few places within 3.7 miles. The first one is Domino's Jalan Ipo at no A2-1. Okay, we will stop. Okay, Google. Where is the nearest McDonald? I found a few places within 3.4 miles. The first one is Mount Kiara Bay O2, Jalan Kiara in Kuala Lumpur. The second one is McDonald's Plaza Mon Chiara DOGO1 Plaza Mon Chiara Jalan Okay Google Chiara. stop Okay Google Where is the nearest Starbucks? I found a few places within 3.6 miles The first one is Starbucks Hartamas at lot P7A Plaza Ground Floor Hartamas Shopping Center Jalan Sri Hartamas 1 in Kuala Lumpur Okay Google the stop one. Okay Google can you recommend a Japanese restaurant in Pabrika? I found a few places within 1.4 kilometers. The first one is Subo Hachi Pabrika at 8 2 UG 1 minus 9 Du Thomas, number 1 Jalan Du Thomas, Jalan Solaris in Hart Thomas Heights. The second one is Ichiban Boshi at lot number 24 and 25, level D3 Pabrika Solaris Du Thomas, 1 Jalan Du Thomas 1 in Kuala Lumpur. Okay, we will stop. Okay, Google. Where is the nearest Cellcom Blue Cube? I found a few places within 7.8 kilometers. The first one is Blue Cube at Public Adu Thomas 1, Jalan Du Thomas 1 in Kuala Lumpur. Okay, the Google, stop. Um, I just linked my Google Home account with my Uber account. So let's find out whether Google Home can get an Uber driver for me. Okay, Google. Get me an Uber driver. Sure, here's Uber. Hi, this is Uber. Would you like to use 960 Jalan Putrinas as your pickup location? Yes. There is at least one Uber X about 7 minutes away. Would you like to request one? Yes. I've requested a ride for you. Check your Uber app for a driver confirmation or details about your ride. So there's actually an Uber driver coming on the way, so I need to cancel the ride right now. 
OK Google, cancel my Uber driver. Sorry, I can't help with that yet. OK Google, cancel Uber driver. Sorry, I'm not sure how to help. So that Google cannot do the cancellation of the Uber driver, I need to do it on the app. So, sorry dude. I need to cancel you. This is just a testing. Okay, so I think Google Home works quite well in Malaysia. I mean like outside of US. So you actually can use a Google Home um, in other places as well. For now, I will spend more time with this device. If you have any questions to ask, you can leave your comments down there, down at the video. and. That's all, thank you. If you like the video, please hit the like button. If you don't like the video, also hit likes. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Okay la Google. Okay la Google. Okay la Google. Okay la Google. Okay Google. When is nothing? Sorry, I'm not sure how to help with that yet.